Hey, how you doing, Andy? This video for you. So thank you for your business of purchasing this uh, 2014 limited edition Chrysler 300 Stretch Limousine. So the first thing I wanted to show you is a couple of things to walk you through how this is going to work. The first thing is you have to understand the 3.6 liter engine, six cylinder, rear wheel drive. Okay. Uh, over here, if you come closer, you can see there's a secondary alternator. There's an original alternator and there's a secondary one. The secondary one it powers all the components in the back so that way you know where it's located it's right here so you got two alternators with a custom bracket over here in the front behind the radiator that's your condenser fan that's for the air conditioning in the back okay and there's a cable for that there's another one right in here in the front that's the original one this is the aftermarket original okay cooling is over there uh here's the oil levels right here check your oil levels here so you can make sure fuse boxes this is all original we didn't modify any of this we only added the alternator and the condenser fan for the rear air conditioning system and over here is the clamp for the rear air conditioning system as you can see it runs down this way through the driver's compartment so you can trace it down this way let's take a look inside when you look inside you notice it's got black interior wood grain finish so the first thing I want to show you is something. If you turn on the headlights, you got your coach lights are built into the glass. They're LED. These are visible at day or night because they're LED and they're very bright. Okay? You can shut that off. That goes with the headlight. So when your headlights come on, these come on. They're connected with the headlights. They're paired. Okay? Your VIN number for your vehicle to identify it is right here. This is where the VIN number is. Inside, in the center console, you'll see some buttons. If you look down below here, this button right here is your power. That turns everything on and off for the rear. This one controls the partition window. It goes up and down, just like this, easy switch. And then this red one over here is your jump start switch. So that will initiate what's called a connection between the original battery and the secondary battery. You have two batteries in this vehicle. Your glove box has your owner's manual and your literature for the vehicle. You have two keys. Okay. Over here is a USB port and charging port, auxiliary port for the original driver's console. It's a touch screen. This is all touch screen. In order for your air conditioning to blow cold in the hot summer months, you're going to have to ensure that you have the maximum AC option on in order to get the most efficient air conditioning use out of your system. So it has a Bluetooth radio, satellite radio, everything. So more importantly, I want to show you something else. If I slide this seat forward like this, I want to show you this. This is very important. These are your relays for the vehicle's electronical components. This is the LED controller box. This controls the lighting in the back. These fuses here have different functions. Each fuse represents a use, a light, a stereo, whatever the case may be. If one of these fuses pops, something isn't working in the back, you can come here and check and see which fuse you need to replace. These are circuit breakers, so you don't put too much power into the system. It prevents it from overloading it. Make sure you don't cause any wiring damage. This is your solenoid. This solenoid protects the surge of power from this secondary battery to the system in the back. Let's take a look in the back. here in this panel inside that button right there opens the fifth door so when I press it it releases it just like that so this allows you access from either side of the vehicle so you can get in from this side or that side it also has a handle to release it 
and it has a handle here to be able to close it shut. This window is double pane glass with the tint in the middle and it's suede finish. Here's the release for this door. So if you ever need to remove the door and access the interior components, you can remove it with these screws here. Also in here, you have a big J seat and you have a large bar and you have a Maybach ceiling. You have mesh lighting, LED lighting, and a disco floor that lights up and changes colors. Let's go around the other side real. Over here, let's take a look at your trunk area. You can release it with the rubber ass button right here. Here is your original battery. The, first, the second one over there is for everything in the back. This is the original battery that comes from Chrysler. So that's, and there's a fuse box in here as well. And then you have your spare and your jack and all that. And here's your trunk. Now if you come back here, you got your seat belts tucked in here behind the seats. They are there. You can use them or not. It's up to your customers, up to you, whatever you want to do. Over here is your controls. That's your power. So all you got to do, set the fan speed you want. Right now it's blinking AC, but it jumps to heat. The reason it is because it's on 80 degrees. So the lower you set the temperature, of course, let's keep going down until you get the temperature you want. Let's say I want 65. Now it's going to stay on AC if you notice. And then I can turn the fan speed up. So you got different speeds. You got low, medium, and high. Okay? And then here are your switches for the lights. If you want to shut them off, all your lights come off. These stay on because of the door sensors. The door is open, so these will stay on. If you close it, it will shut off. But we still have the front passenger door open, which is why it's still on. So if you turn them back on, this turns on your color. This turns on the bar lights here. And this one is basically more of a animation of the different settings you can play with, see? You can keep playing with it to get the setting you want. And you also have a control right here for the lights. This control is fully replaceable, so if you lose it, it's not a big deal. We can get you another one. They're very easy to get. You just keep playing with the color settings, or you can choose the color you want. And then you can even dim it down right here and you can make it as bright or whatever you want you choose it's your choice and if you want to shut it off you can shut it off there you go so you have full control of everything that come with that your ice bin is over here now this ice bin in the center come over here well stainless steel it has a drain here, so when the ice melts, the water will go to the bottom of the vehicle, so you don't have to worry about cleaning it out. This is a champagne bucket. Your champagne goes in here, and your drain also goes to the bottom of the vehicle, so you don't have to worry about cleaning it out. You've got a large flat screen right here. Here's your remote. Turn it on. Basically, uh, if, you don't, if you lose this remote, this is very easy to get as well. They're very cheap I can get them on eBay for you and have it shipped to your address no problem they're like five bucks ten bucks so right now there's no image displaying because this is your DVD player they're connected to it so if you put in a DVD here it will display on both televisions and you'll be able to hear the sound through the stereo system this is where your hard liquor square decanters go vodka whiskey usually that's the way it goes your champagne glasses go here 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 you've got cocktail glasses so you can put as many as you want and two champagne glasses on each side these are your rockford fosky speakers and um, that pretty much it you got two ac vents there uh you, you got another one here and then you got two more there so you got a total of about four ac vents and four heating vents again uh the bar is lifted off the floor a few inches so that people can slide their feet underneath like this. So that makes it for more comfort. So that pretty much sums it up. All right, so thank you very much. We appreciate your business and have a wonderful day.